Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought that I would do a drugstore face-off sort of thing. <laughs> um, there are a couple of really great drugstore foundations that I use on a pretty regular basis. Uh, I only have one high-end foundation, that's the Naked, um, what's it called, Naked Skin, I think. Um, and I really love that foundation, but it's not as full coverage as I like, so I wear it a lot in the summertime. Um, the other foundations that I use on a really regular basis are the Revlon Color Stay um, in 250 Fresh Beige. That's this one right here. And then the other one that I use is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 in the shade nude beige. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do half my face. Uh, this one on the right side, this one on the left, and kind of see how they stack up to each other. Um, I have been finding myself reaching for the Revlon more often than the CoverGirl. I don't really even know why. Um, there was a time where I was only using this and then I decided to try this and just went with this one more often than not. So um, let's go ahead and get started with that. I have not put any primer on. I'm going to do these with no primer on just to see how they hold up with no, no um, primer, just bare skin with moisturizer. I already washed my face, put all my serum and moisturizer and under eye cream on. And now let's go ahead and get started. So I'm taking the CoverGirl and it's a pump. So I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand. Um, and I am going to use my Beauty Blender today, my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. It's not called Beauty, Bl beauty Blender for Real Techniques. Um, but I'm gonna take just my finger and kind of pat it out on the back of my hand and then just tap it onto my face before I blend it out. I also do just have lip balm on. And I always drag it down onto my neck just so that everything matches. So we're just gonna pat this out. And the thing that I like about the Beauty Blender or the sponges are that it does shear the foundation out just enough so that it's not cakey or um, if you are looking for a more sheer coverage and not full coverage that day, you can just use your Beauty Blender and get a little bit more sheer coverage than if you were to use a brush or something like that to blend out your foundation. Make sure you get it up into your hairline so that you don't get like a funny line where your foundation would stop and also up into your ear, down your neck. All right, so that is one half of my face done with the CoverGirl 3-in-1. And now we're gonna move on to the other side with the Revlon Color Stay. I'm gonna shake it up a little first. Pardon. And this one is not a pump, it just, I just take it like this and you know how you do. So it's a little chilly here in Phoenix today. We are um, experiencing a bit of a cold front and 
I had to turn my my heater on. I know you people in the East Coast are probably like, what in the hell? The low last night was in the low 40s. And it's kind of early in the year for us to have temps like that. So. There's not much difference in the coverage between these two. Um, so far. And the color is pretty much spot on on both of them for my skin tone right now. And thankfully, I don't have any blemishes right now that I need to really cover up, so that's always nice. Okay, so there we have the other side of my face done. Um, to be honest, I don't really notice that much of a difference. Um, I do still have a little bit of redness in my cheeks that's coming through, but I'm okay with that. Like I don't feel the need to go through with another layer. Um, so I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I will check back in in a couple of hours to see how they're each wearing and if they oxidize or anything like that and turn a little bit of orange on my skin. And I will check back in with you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm just checking in for the first time um, since doing the half CoverGirl and half Revlon foundation. It's been about two hours. I went ahead and finished all my face and the only thing that I've been doing is filming videos so it's not like I've been outside sweating or, you know, playing with the kids or anything like that. Um, and it to me, I don't really notice that much of a difference. Um, they're both wearing really well. They're not breaking down at all. What is that? Just a fine line, that's all, girl. <laughs> um, so, so far, they're both wearing really well. They're not oxidizing on my skin. They're both the same shade. Um, I'm gonna obviously keep this on for the rest of the day. It is uh 11 12 right now in the morning and so yeah i will check back in probably a mm, few hours maybe around dinner time and see how things are looking then see you guys in a bit bye hey guys so it is um a little bit after five and i've had my foundation on since like nine this morning i think um it's held up really well both sides, I had Cover All 3-in-1 on this side and uh, Revlon Color Stay on this side. And they both have worn equally well. Um, I do need to touch up like around my nose and around my mouth. But I don't see any um, patches where it's come off except for obviously where I had my glasses on earlier. Um, so yeah, I really like both of these foundations. They've held up really well. They are not, I'm not really oily anywhere. Um, so yeah, I really like both of these foundations. I would say if you are in the market for a new drugstore foundation to give either one of these a try and you'd probably be pretty happy with it. So yeah, that is it for this video and I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.